So do you feel like you go through the day or days and you feel just slapped down? I feel that I'm talking a lot of times to people who are very prophetic and you may be this way in that your prophetic gift you often feel things I'm saying this because I can relate so I believe there's a call I believe there's an understanding that as we use our imaginations and have some inner unity meaning unity with what we see and what we feel and who we are we'll be able to handle those times where we do feel for others and we think it's all about ourselves it's like this is part of your gifts in the prophetic is feeling you can pick up other people's emotions in the spirit realm and sometimes this is just too simply too heavy especially amidst your daily responsibilities at work or at home and you try to handle your own emotions just of life and then you take on someone else's stuff that you're feeling in the atmosphere it can really wipe you out it really sucks for example Yesterday, I was uh, going to the grocery store with my husband, and I had some, I was just not feeling really great. I'm still dealing with some healing in my arm, and I was kind of cold. Immediately, I went in the, into the grocery store, and I started, ooh, it was like my radar was up, and all I know is there were a lot of tired people there. The manager might have been leading, uh, changing the atmosphere. And I just felt so tired and I felt kind of started feeling sick. And I just said to Dave, I said, can I go out in the car? So I went out in the car and I felt much better. And I thought, wait a minute. I picked up something in the spirit realm. That doesn't mean I need to be led by that. So that's what I'm working on. Identifying, am, is this for me or is this in the atmosphere that I'm walking in? What I'm trying to say is this is all part of your spirit identity. That as you take good care of yourself, as you love your soul, as you understand your body and your soul in relation to your spirit, you can be spirit driven. You don't have to be driven by what you feel and your emotions, but you truly can be spirit driven. What is the key to that? It's your belief system. It's totally believing what God says, not just believing it, declaring it, imagining it. So imagining and believing that God made you his much loved son, his much loved daughter, who's able to impact and change atmospheres, that's really who you are. And then walking in it. I think, um, I think this might help you in the midst of day in, day out, is understanding that gift and being able to walk in it the way God's called you to. You know, so often I, I, I heard this, that we build altars to our failures instead of, instead of altars to what God says about us. So make some declarations, cast off worry, uh, start believing and seeing what God says about you. Because I know what he says. He says you're awesome. He says he set a day and a time and a place just for you to walk in the fullness of who you are. No matter where you are, no pit is so deep that God's love is not deeper still if you feel like you're in a pit. No matter where you are, your intimacy with him creates your destiny, creates your legacy. I really do love you and I'll talk to you in the next video.